We all remembered what happened in 2008. And for many of you, the words recession and housing bubble bring back terrible flashbacks. However, there are huge differences between today's housing market and what happened many years ago. Here's just a few reasons why today is nothing like the last time. Kick your shoes off, stay a while. Before the Great Recession, the housing market had these things. Loose lending standards, an oversupply of homes, and overtapped equity. On the flip side, today's market looks like the opposite. Much stricter lending practices, an undersupply of homes in the upstate of South Carolina, and on average, far more homeowners have far more equity in their properties today. In fact, four out of the last six recessions, home prices still appreciated. While some would say that we are currently in a recession, a recession doesn't necessarily mean that home prices are going to fall. Let's do a little history check. I'm gonna give you six different recessions with the home prices and what happened with them. 1980, home prices appreciated 6.1%. 1981, up 3.5%. Now in 1991, homes did depreciate by 1.9%. 2001, home prices went up 6.6%. Okay, here's the big one. Here's the big scary 2008 number. Homes depreciated almost almost 20%. Okay, that's great, Josh, but what happened in 2020 when everything started to get just a little crazy? What truly happened when the pandemic hit and everybody started losing their minds? Home prices appreciated by 6%. Now, price appreciation is moderating, but perspective is key. While home prices month over month have depreciated over the past four months, there's a strong case to be made that the worst may, let's, let's really, really dive into that word, may, maybe, possibly, a chance, like don't quote me level stuff, but it could possibly be behind us. I'm not saying there's not going to be more depreciation. I'm just saying the worst could be over. But don't take my word for it. Expert forecasters are saying this. If you look at the latest data, there's a case to be made that the biggest portion of month over month price depreciation nationally may already be behind us. And even those numbers were not significant declines on the national level. Instead of how far will they drop, the question kind of becomes, have home values hit bottom already? Now, looking at the data below, we can see this month over month change. It may not confirm that depreciation is behind us, but it does confirm prices are not in a free fall. Now, clearly a huge player in all of this is the mortgage rates. Experts believe that mortgage rates have also peaked. However, as the saying goes, trying to time the housing market is a little like playing the lottery. While we can never truly foresee what's going to happen, we can keep our spheres up to date especially in a shifting market. And if I'm being honest, and I can take my realtor hat off for a minute, and in some world where you believe I'm not just trying to make a commission, with the current unpredictability of mortgage rates and experts predicting continued home price appreciation, making a move this winter may be a better financial decision. Now, this is me coming to you from February of 2023. As you can see in this graph, it looks like Q3 of 2023 is going to be uh, at least the best place to start thinking about a home and then getting a little bit better into Q4. However, if you would like to purchase before that and you don't like the way this 6% interest rate looks, there are other options that you can discuss with your lender. Just because it says 6.35 in Q1 does not mean that's going to be what you pay. It could be significantly lower based on a lot of other factors. Factors like a buy-down program, which if you're not working with me personally and not working with the lenders that I work with, be sure and ask your lender what is a buy-down program if they're not already offering it to you. Now, probably the biggest question you're asking yourself if you're in the upstate of South Carolina looking to buy a home or coming from outside of South Carolina, the big question is, should I buy a home right now? No doubt one of the biggest catalysts impacting the slowdown in the housing market was indeed the rapid rise in mortgage rates. They more than doubled in a 12 month period and a lot of Americans were forced to put their buying or selling plans on hold. 
The good news is affordability is improving as inflation eases and rates slowly start to go down. This is a good little quote by Nadia Evangelou, Director of Forecasting for the National Association of Realtors. Nadia says with a 6% rate instead of 7%, buyers pay about $2,700 less every year on their mortgage. As a result, owning a home becomes more affordable to about 1.4 million more renters and 4.3 million more homeowners. Now for you South Carolina residents, that's got to be good news and bring a little more perspective on what these rates really mean for you. Another big topic swirling around the rumor mill is that foreclosures are on the rise. Now as media headlines grab on to what they're calling a 115% growth, it's more important than ever to really put this big increase that the media is trying to scare you with into some context. Now here's why. There are not as many homeowners who are even at risk for foreclosure due to stricter lending practices over the past 15 years. After 2008 and 2009, lenders really tightened up their criteria. We just went ahead and fixed the glitch. Mm, great. And probably the biggest thing that you should know in general, while the media tries to shove doom and gloom down your throat, is that the majority of homeowners have more than enough equity to sell their home and not foreclose on it. Now I'm gonna give you a little comparison here. If you're wondering how many foreclosures are really happening and what's the history of foreclosures look like compared to right now. 2022, there was 88,000 home foreclosures. 2021, there was about half, if not less than half of that. However, 2019, now keep in mind here, the media would have you believe 2019 was a normal year because it was pre-pandemic, 278,000 foreclosures. More than double what we saw in 2022. Oh, but look out, foreclosures are on the rise. Yeah, comparatively speaking, you nimrods. Think of it this way, if you won $10,000 of your adult life every single year, but last year you only won $5,000, do you believe anybody would accuse you of being an unlucky human being? No or no? No, 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 no. So keep your negativity media, we're not scared, because there are actual local area experts to inform you buyers and sellers what's actually happening. With that being said, subscribe and hit that bell notification so the word can get out more. Now with information coming from all sides and as the real estate market continues to shift, it's important more now than ever to make sure you're getting your information and basing your life decisions on information you get from trusted experts or trusted sources. And I get it, that's hard to do in today's world. However, do a little research, look at credentials. Don't just blindly trust some guy that you're watching on YouTube. <laughs> now I'm gonna talk a little more local to South Carolina. Even we continue to hear rumors of a market crash, but local data does not show that that's gonna happen. Even if it's minor changes, the monthly figures indicate that the market has begun to cool. These facts right here that I'm about to read to you show that this local data and what it's talking about. In December, 2022, home prices in South Carolina rose 11.4% annually. Simultaneously, the number of homes sold decreased by 34.9%, while the number of properties for sale decreased by 2.2%. In other words, there are not enough homes to meet buyer demands. The bottom line is we're not seeing any major home price decline in South Carolina just yet. While the present supply of homes in South Carolina still favors sellers slightly, buyers have gained back a ton of leverage and you're starting to see negotiation in upstate South Carolina, which back in even mid 2022 would have been a wild thought to even try and negotiate the price of a home. This is a wild fact. The current number of active listings in South Carolina is 16,358, which is a rise from 9,547 active listings that were added at this same time last year. Now that's according to Realtor.com's monthly data. Being the third most moved to state in the year of 2022, South Carolina probably isn't gonna see any major crash just based on that fact alone. Whether current residents like it or not, South Carolina is a highly, highly desirable place right now due to a number of things, cost of living being one of them. 
And something important to note is that home builders are building more structures and properties in order to accommodate this huge influx of new residents. So whether we welcome new folks here or we don't, either way, it's going to continue to happen as South Carolina and its economy continue to thrive. With that being said, if there's anything I can do to help you with more information on South Carolina and its current happenings or a move to South Carolina is in your future, my information will be right here and I'll be more than happy to pick up the phone when you call. I'll talk to you. Until next time, I've been Josh Oglesby with Real Broker LLC and Upstate SC Living, reminding you to work hard, be kind, and do enjoy yourselves.